Okay, starting up right from where we left off last time, here's Reaper where we left him with his face effects turned on. Um, we're going to go find a particle system, and remember I showed you how to use this. We're going to deselect everything uh, except for particle system right there. And just go find something good, find something that you like. Uh, hero or a third person. Yeah, that looks, mm, uh, looks kind of dumb actually, so... Uh, <laughs> No, uh, I'm looking for something kind of impressive. I don't know. Um, uh, it's just not doing it. Um, maybe if we can... Oh, I just... Uh, maybe if I find an explosion or something. There we go. That's a little bit better. So now I still have this selected in uh, the generic browser right there. Oop. Uh, right click and add add emitter then the name of the emitter there okay so now go and make a new matinee for him now new empty group uh, explosion and then new particle no new effects toggle track okay now there's a little bit of a trick to this one though, because uh, by default it'll turn on automatically when the level starts. So what I want to do is go to the properties, you can either press F4 or double click, or right click and go to properties. Come down to particle system components underneath the emitter, and deselect auto activate. Right? Uh, there's a bunch of other things you can do here, but that's the only one that's important right now. Now what you can do, since you have this toggle track, toggle if you don't know, basically it just means uh, whether it's on or off it just switches between the two so in this case it, it works a little bit differently uh, so let's press enter and it'll ask us do we want to turn it on or off let's say we want to turn it on here uh, go about half a second later let's turn it back off right turn it on Oop. turn it back off now watch explosion explosion right right in the two places we said um, so there's a lot of things you can do with that uh, let's look for an actual like fire effect or something. So I'm going to select everything here. Uh, and maybe I don't have an actual fire. So let's... I think Stinger Alt Fire... No, that's not going to do the job. Uh, seeing the Stinger, if, if none, of you, none of you remember, is um, the uh, the Stinger minigun. So it's, it's a machine gun. And none of them are giving me quite what I want. Uh... I don't know, I might go and open up a package real quick. Um, so it would be under effects. And all these, um, like, Envy effect packages, those are really neat packages. Um, they have basically a bunch of special effects and things like that. So now let's look for fire in here. And here's fire offset. Let's try that. There we go. That's what we're looking for. So right next to it here, I'm not going to delete the old one or anything, I'm just going to add it right next to it, uh, turn off auto activate, and I'll show you again where that is real quick, uh, emitter, emitter, emitter uh, particle system component, deselect auto activate, now we need to add a new empty group, fire, and again you can name it whatever, then effects toggle track, turn it on, and what will happen is it turns on, and Unless you tell it to, it will never turn off. So let's add an off track here. Now, as soon as it passes that, it's off. Now, the thing about particle effects, though, is if you turn it on, pause it, and then skip ahead, well, it, it works fine, right? But if you go like that, and then you pause it, and you start working on something else, or whatever the case may be, it's going to be on until you go past that off, right? Um, I've actually had quite a few, I would almost say, like problems with that, because even once you exit out of it, then you're still going to have it there until uh, you do something about it. So even even though I'm exited out of matinee, uh, when I turn on real time, it's still there until I deselect. So, and really, there's not really a whole lot more to particles than that. Um, I'll show you. Uh, see, and you see it turn back on now, uh, and it'll stay on until it goes off uh, from my keyframe here. Now, remember when we added... Um, way over here to this guy, we gave him a weapon. And I finally figured out where that stupid uh, <laughs> find in Kismet button was. And here it is. So let's go there. 
now let's go find uh, the bio rifles particle effect. Uh, WP bio rifle. And let's see here. Uh, that's the muzzle flash. That would work, but let's actually, just for fun, let's add something else. Uh, let's see, we're looking for, in this case, uh, some type of muzzle flash. So it'll say like MF, like that. There we go, let's, let's add that. It's, it's a little bit more fun, you know. Um, so what we want to do is make sure you're out of uh, matinee and everything. Add it just like we did before. Make sure that you go and turn off auto activate. Go and line it up with your weapon. And you want to be you want it to be right as a uh, and I'll turn off uh, lighting for a minute so I can get it as close as I can here. You want to get it right up uh, right where it would actually be in the barrel, right? Now, if you remember how we attached it before, uh, attached the weapon to him, you go and you select the lock button. Then you select what you want to attach it to and go to attachment, base, and then click that. Now for bone name, I believe there might be an actual muzzle flash. Nope, no, there's not. Uh, okay, so let's go to uh, sync generic browser on the weapon. Double click on that. And then we got to see the bone names, okay? So we click the little bone names thing. And I'm not seeing it, actually, where the end of it is. So let's go ahead and call it, uh, let's go ahead and place it on this one. So B underscore gun front assembly, or, okay, so B underscore gun underscore front assembly, there we go. And we want to hard attach it again, so that's already selected. Now we can go and reselect our particle emitter, go back into uh, his animation here, add the particle group. And I feel like an idiot now because I forgot completely. There's a whole particle group here, so you don't have to add an empty group if you don't want to. You can just go straight to particle group. And then uh, muzzle. I might have spelled it wrong, but for, uh, whatever. Just because I don't know how to spell it for sure. Muzzle flash. And it adds it exactly the same way. Okay. So let's say, okay, just uh, to line it up well, whenever it uh, goes over that weapon fire, I'm going to try to set it up so that it does it right about like that. Just uh, so I feel good about life or something. And um, see for this particular one, it's pretty much it go the emitter goes on and on and on forever until you uh, tell it to turn off. So unless you actually uh, go and set time and then figure out exactly how long you want it to go for each one, unless you do it like that, then you're pretty much just going to end up with it kind of at random. If it's like an explosion or something, that's going to work a lot differently because it'll just go once and then it'll stop until you tell it to start up again. So you can see now though, uh, if I deselect it, it'll look a little bit better here. You can see how he's, he's shooting with that muzzle flash from like the red link gun or something like that. So, and then uh, one thing I wanted to show you also is if you press the G key, that hides uh, everything you won't see in a game except for the um, movement tracks. So I press G and it hides uh, the emitter. So you can do that, and it looks pretty neat when, you, uh, when you're when you just watching it, um, but don't forget to undo it, otherwise you won't be able to find anything, because even when you're out of matinee, you can still turn it on, and then, well, where's my emitter? Well, where'd that other emitter go? Where are my lights? Well, press G, there they are again. So, anyways, that should pretty much wrap this one up, uh, and then we'll be moving on to cameras. This is probably the one you've been waiting for after the skeletal matches, but it's all important stuff, you all, you know, you gotta learn it all. So uh, that's pretty much the basics of particle systems, though, and how they work.